Hi, it's Roxy. Um, today I decided I wanted to review the Karen Dash um, Neo Color 2 Water Soluble Crayons. I thought they looked really interesting and I just wanted to see if I could have some fun with them. So let's see what they're like. I'm going to be using my Canson XL watercolor paper and I'm looking at the crayons and they're basically the same size as a crayon, maybe a little bit longer as a regular crayon. But as I apply it to the paper, you know, they don't smudge at all. They really feel like crayon, but they're just more firm and a little, they seem a little harder, not as waxy as regular crayons and they just glide so easily. You don't have to put a lot of pressure. So just think about that. You don't have to put a lot of pressure and still you get a lot of pigment on your paper. I really like that. I thought that was cool. So the set that I have, it's only the 10 piece set because that's all I wanted to spend. They're not cheap. Um, so I decided let's just go ahead with the 10 and if I like them, I'm gonna add some more colors. You know, they sell these um, colors individually like at Blick. So I can order them from there or, you know, um, Jackson, something like that. So let's go ahead and wet these. And I'm wetting them with just a little bit of water. And let me tell you, you don't need a lot of water, just, just a little bit of water. And you can, these just melt. It's really nice. I just recently tried the Mungio water soluble oil pastels. Now those are like real oil pastels. So they're a lot different in terms of the texture. And so they're different than these. Um, these are more like crayons. And then, you know, with the water, you just brush it out and it just turns into watercolor. So they're different in that way. So why don't we just compare these? I mean, I'm just testing it out here. Um, I'm not gonna do any, you know, grand art piece, but I decided let's test these out. What is the difference between the two? So I'm just gonna lay a mark on the left side for the Mungio, and on the right side, I will create a mark with the Karen Diash. Okay, so the uh, Mungio oil pastel is on the left and I can smudge it just like regular oil pastel. And on the right is Karen Dash and it cannot be smudged because it's like crayon. So I have a wet brush, it's not dripping. And let's go ahead and um, blend out the Mungio oil, water soluble oil pastel. And as you can see, you can almost see the marking of that line right behind it. And I'm not using the brush too hard on the paper. Let's try it with the Karen Dash. Karen Dash, I have, um, again, a little bit of water on there. And kind of the same thing, but I feel like the Karen Dash is blending out a little bit more in terms of that line that I first drew. And it's got more pigment, so that's a lot better. Okay, just for fun, I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side drawing. Left side will be Mungio Soluble Oil Pastel, and on the right side will be the Karen Dash um, Water Soluble Neo 2 Crayons. So I'm gonna try to use similar colors. I'm gonna go ahead and use the red in the Mungio set, and I'm gonna draw my heart and we'll do the same thing on the other side. Again, this is just for fun. It's just a simple, cute little drawing. It's not gonna be anything spectacular. I'm not gonna do any color mixing. I'm just gonna use the colors that are in each set. And again, I only have 10 colors, but I'll only use a few colors from each set. Okay, so let's start with the Mungio. Um, I'm putting the water on there with my brush and it looks like I'm gonna have to add some more water. It's really thick, um, so you really have to put more water to blend it out. Here is the Karen the Ash and I just dipped my brush in the water once and that's all I had to do and it just blended out so smoothly. I really loved it. Now back to the Mungio. I'm going to go ahead and just add this, um, like a yellow gold um, trim around the heart. And as you can see, it's kind of, you know, rugged and thick, but that's how you have to apply it. Okay, so let's do the same thing with the Karen Dash. Now it goes on just like crayon, so it feels like I have more control. 
And the blend is, again, it's a lot smoother, a little bit easier than the Mungio because the Mungio is a little thicker. Okay, so I'm just gonna speed up the video as I continue decorating these hearts. And I want you to just watch the process. And you'll notice that the Mungio, because it's thicker and it's oil pastel, the blending is just not as smooth. It's not as easy for the smaller uh, details, I think, in art. I think it'd be really great with, you know, more landscape or like larger images, in my opinion. Um, I just feel like the smaller details, it's just, I don't know, it's not as smooth. It's not as easy. I feel like I have less control and I feel like um, that's, that's okay if you're going to do maybe a larger piece. Now on to the Karen Diash. Um, again, because it feels like a crayon, it goes on a lot easier. So I feel like, oh, let me add some more details. I think we're gonna add these little circles and you know, I kind of messed up a little bit. But as I'm starting to blend it out, I'm thinking, hmm, I don't know. It's not blending out as smooth as I would like. And I, I don't know if I like it. I mean, it's blending smoother than the Mungio, but it's still not smooth enough. And again, I feel like it has to do with smaller details. And I feel like, once again, if, if maybe it was a bigger piece like the heart, and that wasn't a lot of detail, that was just one big image, and it was a lot easier. So that's my opinion on the Karen Dash. I really do love this Karen Diash white crayon. I decided I hated the blue so much that I'm going to add some white to try to give it a little bit of dimension and smooth it out because it just wasn't smooth enough. And so putting the white on there helped smooth it out a lot. So I went ahead and decided to just keep adding some white um, to the blue part of the hearts and I really liked that. It kind of helped the Karen Dash one look a little better. Um, the Mungio, eh, it was okay. But overall, um, overall, in my opinion, I preferred the Karen Dash for this particular project. Now, honestly, if I had to do this project again, I would use gouache. I think it'd be a better you know, medium to use. But this was an experiment, and I realized that if I had to pick one over the other, it would be the Karen Diash. Only because I have more control over it in this particular project. But I'm sure that the Mungio water-soluble oil pastels are great for larger projects. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this. Like and subscribe. Thank you.